definitely stick with it. Keep looking for the thing that works for you. My favorite aphorism is know thyself. And start to, be, as, I, as I come into the day and come into consciousness, I, I, I meditate like that. I'd like to riff on that in a different, in a different way. Um, I did spend some time wandering around, as many people do. Um, and I think particularly for your young listeners and viewers who don't know, wow, you know, could I ever be a scientist and develop new things, stuff like that? Yes, you can. And if you're messing around your life trying this, trying that, trying the other thing, definitely stick with it. Keep looking for the thing that works for you. I, I really deeply believe that. You got to play around. You got to find what it is that works for you. Interestingly enough, at least it's interesting for me. I, I spent a lot of years studying the retina in a pure basic science, just curiosity-driven research way, as you and I have both done in the past. I'm one of them. I, I know that. And it's totally by chance that I picked up and learned, or it seems by chance, that I picked up and learned the things that I need to know for this. So, And it feels accidental sometimes. I look back on my own history. I'm like, how did I get here where this is obviously the thing I need to do? Was this on purpose? It didn't seem like it was on purpose, but now I got to do this because I know what needs to be done and it's something that needs to be done. So that's that's my mission for the you know coming decade or so. What I think is, you know, philosophically and in terms of personal development and spiritual development stuff, I think is quite relevant that I think you'll, you'll relate to. My favorite aphorism is know thyself. And I, I think because if you don't know yourself, you can't you, you don't even know where to go. You, you can't even you know, orient yourself at the next thing in your life. But know thyself, be thyself, which is not easy. It's not easy to really be yourself in this world. There are all sorts of things telling us to be something other than what we are. Exploration of yourself and your life and your values and, my, and me too and all the things we've talked about over time. That's not easy. Some of us are not necessarily programmed to love ourselves. And uh, it's a skill. I, and I really, I try my best to be with those three things all the time. Know thyself, be thyself, love thyself. And start to, be, as, I, as I come into the day and come into consciousness, I, I, I meditate like that. And I have a Ashtanga-related yoga practice. You know, at the end of, a, of many Western yoga practices, you end with namaste, which is expressing your respect and for the connectedness of what is in front of you to the whole universe and what's common to all of us and everything. And I usually practice yoga by myself. And when I say namaste at the end of my yoga practice, a part of that is to myself. The feeling I feel when I'm on the path that makes sense for me is ease.